what's going on YouTube in this video I'm gonna be reviewing my experience dealing with Carvana and all the good and the bad about it I just bought this vehicle right here and uh, I'm gonna go pick it up I'll take you along for that ride when I go pick it up uh, to get started when you purchase a vehicle you can either pick it up or you can have them deliver it uh, the fee depends on where you are uh, in the country and if there is a Carvana in your area now if the vehicle you pick is not in your area they will charge you a fee to ship it to your area it just depends right so that's the first thing free shipping all the way to I believe it's like three four hundred dollars shipping one thing about Carvana which I really like is it gives you upfront pricing so if we go here to your Carvana um, just your your main page I was here looking at Audis and you can go from recommended you sort by lowest price highest price newest inventory all that um, if you're looking for something low priced um, you're just gonna want to keep refreshing or if you're looking for a certain vehicle you're just gonna want to keep refreshing because another thing I really like about Carvana is they update their vehicles on a regular basis I mean every hour you'll see something new um, in your category for example if you're looking uh, to purchase an Audi if you're looking to purchase a Mercedes if you're looking to purchase an F-150 whatever you're looking for if it's not there if the price point you're looking for is not there if the features you're looking for are not there um, you just keep refreshing and just keep looking back it took me about a week and a half to find the vehicle that I really wanted that I really liked that uh, price was good the payment was good I mean everything was right so again just keep refreshing so another thing I like about that about Carvana is right here if you click on it I believe this one is, is purchase pending so purchase pending all that means is somebody is looking to buy the vehicle that doesn't mean they're gonna actually buy it so right here what it says is another customer has started this purchase but in many cases vehicles become available again so what that's gonna mean is for example if you like this vehicle and it wasn't pending you can go to start the process and look at all the terms if you don't like the terms that it's giving you you can you can just straight cancel it but uh, what's good about the terms is let me log in here for a second so you can see what I'm talking about all right so it's not gonna give me terms because I just purchased a vehicle and I guess I can't get terms again right but right here in the bottom it's gonna tell you free shipping um, $200 shipping whatever it is like this one right here $300 shipping all right so what would normally happen is you would get pre-qualified you don't at first you don't have to enter your social all you're gonna enter is your just your basic information uh, name phone number maybe birth date I forgot but um, all you're gonna have to enter is your basic information name phone number address uh, I'm not sure what else you need but it's just basic information and it's gonna give you your terms so if you have bad credit it's gonna tell you right away okay um, your down payment for example is gonna be fifteen hundred dollars it's gonna be twelve hundred dollars uh, good credit you know you're gonna have a zero down payment now I had really bad credit but I was still qualified uh, to get a vehicle which I mean anywhere else I go to a car lot something like that they're not gonna qualify me or they're gonna give me really really bad terms but right here what it's gonna do it's gonna tell you how much you're gonna have to give down and how much your monthly payment is going to be it's it's all right here already it, they're not going to give you the runaround now if you're familiar with buying a vehicle through a used car lot or a dealership the first thing they're going to ask you is what do you want your payment to be they're not going to ask you um what do you want the price of the vehicle uh to be because um sticker price they want to give you sticker price right they're like yeah no problem but the reason they ask you how much you want your payment to be is because they want to start adding in all these fees they want to start adding um, documentation fees they want to start adding finders fees they're gonna start I mean they want to pack it to where they get you to that payment maybe uh, on Carvana your payments gonna be four hundred dollars and these guys are gonna get you uh, at a five hundred dollar payment right they just want to really stick it to you but right here everything is up front you're not dealing with a high pressure salesman um, you're just browsing vehicles another thing is is when you go to uh, a dealership a car lot 
what they have on the lot is that's it maybe they have a, another lot across town they have different vehicles but that's it you, you choose from what they have and that's what they have right but here like i said you can choose i mean they have a big inventory of all makes all models and um they're constantly updating so another thing about carvana is they only take vehicles um that have no accident history um, the vehicle that I purchased was the one owner vehicle uh, with low miles. So that's what I was looking for. I was looking for something that had all the service records, which it did, that had low miles, um, which it did, that also had, that also was a one owner vehicle. And it's going to tell you, for example, you're really interested in this vehicle right here, right? So you're going to go down, um, you can spin around the vehicle, take a look at it. Okay, zoom in, zoom out, do all that, right? I'm not going to go through all that. You can open the doors, really inspect it, go through the interior, right? You're going to get all that. And what's nice about this is this one, the body looks pretty good, but if the body was had any little chips or dings, scratches, it's going to have a little hazard sign here. So you click on the hazard just like you would click on this piece right here. This is just telling you the exterior color and it would have an enlarged picture of whatever ding, scratch, um, whatever it is, right? So, I mean, that's always good. It's telling you exactly what's on the vehicle so you have no surprises when you go to pick it up. So right here, it's telling you all the information on the vehicle. And what's nice about this, every vehicle comes with a Carfax. So, okay, so right here, look, it's telling me already, um, cash down, I'd, I'd have to give $500 cash down. If I wanted to purchase this vehicle, it'd be uh, $233 a month, right? To purchase this vehicle. See, straight up front and right here, uh, shipping, the free shipping, they're gonna charge you for the tax title and registration, of course. Um, so all in, I'm in, I'm in it, $833. All right, so it's gonna tell me everything here. Uh, Carfax, I can go to the Carfax just from here. Again, try going to a dealership. A lot of them have Carfax, a reputable dealerships, but if you go to one of these car lots, a lot of times they don't have it. So you're kind of just left, uh, you know, just guessing what, what's wrong with the vehicle. So right here, Carfax, you already know, uh, it's gonna tell you uh, the no damage reported, no accidents reported, four owners, um, service history records, which is always good. It has all the service history records. Um, so it's going to give you all the car facts, which is good. Um, see entire 150 point inspection list. Uh, a lot of these vehicles, uh, what I notice is they will have, look, it tells you everything that they check, everything that, th that they replaced. Uh, wheel lug nuts, uh, fix or replace. Like on my vehicle, it had four brand new tires. The tires alone, um, you know, they're the, the high performance, low pro tires. Those tires alone are $1,000, right? So they had brand new Falcon tires on it, which man, I mean, that just, just saved me a lot of money just right out the gate. Um, and also all the service records, I know what was done to the vehicle. It just gives you that peace of mind, right? Uh, sunroof operation, uh, they, they changed that they, or they fixed it. Everything else was check, 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 check. Um, instrument pack, uh, gauges for normal operation, they fixed that. Uh, dash instrument, they fixed that. So it tells you pretty much everything that was fixed, every done, everything that was checked on the vehicle. Um, it tells you right here, the view of the two imperfections. Uh, I don't see any imperfections here that it's showing me, but let's go back down here. So right here, it, it tells you if they, if they added anything or they fixed anything to the vehicle right here. So they didn't uh, fix anything to the vehicle. It's gonna tell you the warranty. There is no warranty on this vehicle, but there is a basic warranty, right? So right here, um, every Carvana car comes with a hundred day, uh, 1,000, I mean, excuse me, 100 day, 4,189 mile limited warranty. And that's just on the basic powertrain, right? So that's a hundred day, 4,000 plus miles, whichever comes first, right? And that's on every vehicle standard across the board and they don't charge you more for that that's just basic see so right here just like everywhere else 
um, you can buy a, an extended warranty. They have two separate options, right, for an extended warranty. Um, right here, as low as 3100 So you can also trade your vehicle in. Let's check out the protection plans, okay? So this one is $64 a month, which is 3100 And this one does not say, the one on the left here. Uh, but let me see, 7000 oh, okay, right here. So this one's $90, $90 more a month, which is $4,350 uh, more to your purchase. I always go without uh, the protection plan, um, the warranty, the extended warranty, just because uh, in my experience, uh, I've really never used them on the vehicles that I've bought. I always opt out of this because it's going to add that $90 or it's going to add that $64. But that's an option that you do have to purchase um, an extended warranty. Another thing that I really like about Carvana is you're buying a car online through one of their vending machines, right? So again, this is a car that I bought. I buy the car. Let's say I don't like it. There's something that I just don't like about the vehicle. How am I going to know buying a car without test driving it? You want to test drive it, right? I saw a guy online that says never buy a car from Carvana because you can't have a mechanic look at it. You can't test drive it. You don't know what's wrong with it. But the kicker on that is once you buy the vehicle, <clears throat> you have seven days to return it. No questions asked. If you put a down payment on it, they'll refund your down payment. Or if you just want to swap out for something of equal uh, equal value or just pay the difference, uh, finance a difference or however you, you paid for the vehicle, you can do that. But if you just want to wash your hands of it and say, I just don't want it, you can definitely do that too. So in that seven days, you can take it to your mechanic, have them look at it, leave it to them overnight for a thorough check of the vehicle. Uh, you're not taking it from your local dealership, having an hour for your mechanic to come just take a once over over it. And yeah, everything's good. Not really knowing. You can leave it overnight. You can drive it for a while knowing that you have a full seven days to return it for any reason um, if you don't like the vehicle and they won't give you the runaround. I've seen a lot of guys on here that do make those returns and they say that it's it's quick and it's easy. No hassle at all to, to return your vehicle. So in that sense, saying that you don't want to buy a vehicle from Carvana because you can't look at it or you, you don't know what you're getting, true, but you have seven days to return it. So let me just walk you through the process right here of actually buying the vehicle. Uh, of course, I'm not going to purchase this vehicle, but if I wanted to, I'm going to go to get started. It's going to unlock the vehicle. So all this is going to do is earlier in the video, we saw purchase pending. So now if somebody comes and look at the vehicle that we're looking at here, it's going to say purchase pending, which means nobody can touch this vehicle. Nobody can actually try to purchase it while you're in the process of purchasing it. So you can actually trade in your vehicle or if you don't have a trade in, go to I don't have a trade in. Okay, financing, you can finance through Carvana and get the terms uh, listed in the previous page or you can pay with cash if you want it or if, if you have a lower rate or better terms, you can go through third party financing. So we're gonna stay with finance with Carvana, save and continue. Okay, so from here, I'm not gonna continue but it's that easy from the left side here, all you have, all you have to do is just enter your your information here your monthly income and your date of birth get your financing and then you're going to go to the carvana protection it's going to go it's going to give you the pickup and delivery for you want it delivered or if you're picking it up you're going to go you're going to enter all your your driver license information and then identity verification is where you enter your social um your payment wh whether it's um zero down or you have to give something down you're gonna put your payment information and then from there review your order purchase is just like purchasing it's just like purchasing takeout i mean it's that simple right that's all you really have to do and another thing is when you go and pick your vehicle up um let's say let's say you um 
you do have um, something you have to give down, they won't pull it out of your account until you pick that vehicle up. So if the your pickup date is a week from whatever date that you purchase the vehicle, they won't pull that money out um, until you actually go and pick the vehicle up. So again, we go to search cars. I mean, they have every make and model. You can go by price, you can go by year, by mileage. Uh, I mean, look at everything they have here. Damn, I should have bought this one right here. This one's really nice. See, this is what I'm talking about here. See, driver's side chips, you click on that and it'll show you what uh, imperfections it does have. Same thing with the interior. And again, what I really like about this and I like a lot is you don't have the high pressure salesman kind of being all uh, sleazy as far as just trying to give you the, the two fingers in the eyes, you know, so you can pick the vehicle you want. You can stay in the price range you want. If right here, what you can do, if you say, okay, well, I want a lower monthly payment, it's going to show you right here. You have to give X amount down to have whatever payment you want. So right here, it's 562. Let's say I want to stay at a $500 payment. <clears throat> it's going to tell me right away, okay, well, you have to give 4,900 down. And on top of that, <clears throat> with 2,000 down, it's telling me my APR down here, which is a 13.4. So if I give, the more I give down, look at the APR down here, it's going down. The more I give down, the more my APR goes down. Now, mind you, if you think 12% or whatever this was, 13, uh, 13 point 14, that is kind of high and that is just because I purchased, I just purchased the other vehicle. So that's why you're seeing this. My APR was a lot lower than, than this right here. Mind you, if you do have bad credit, your APR is going to be a lot higher, but they will finance you, but your APR is going to be a lot higher, just like anywhere else you go. Um, the only thing here with having bad credit is, you know, the payment that you're going to get. I've heard of some people uh, paying as much as 35% APR and I'm not even sure if that's legal, but they work it into a way where it is legal. They charge you here. They do these fees. I mean, it's crazy, right? On a uh, $15,000 vehicle, you end up paying $45,000 because you wanted that car and it was bad credit and you're not that great with um, with contracts, right? I'm not saying that you're not that great. I'm saying that people uh that just want the vehicle are not looking their contracts over there's a guy right in front of you uh just sitting there here sign this sign this sign this and you're just signing all right no problem no problem and you're just signing signing everything away not going through anything right here it's going to give you the terms it's going to give you your whole contract you can look it over take as long as you want you're nobody's rushing you um and again right here it's telling you the length of the loan term. So if you think, oh, 72 months is too long, you can change all that. You don't have to do any calculations, any math. It's going to tell you, okay, what's your payment going to be, your cash down. We can bring it down to 60 months, whatever it is, right? And that's on a $28,000 vehicle. So enough talking here. Um, pretty much went through everything. Uh, if you have any other questions about this, let me know in the comment section. Now let's go pick up the vehicle and see how that part goes. You also have a live view behind the desk on the TV as well, so you'll be able to see it from kind of this palette slot there. So if you pull down and drop down, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and bring it around front for you. Okay. So when I pull forward, feel free to meet me outside and you guys can watch the session. Alright, thank you. Cool.
This is nicer than it looks online. <laughs> wow. Right there. there you go. That was super quick and easy. Seven day money back guarantee. So overall, it was a pretty easy experience going through Carvana. Everything was straightforward. The pricing was straightforward. No hidden fees. The financing was straightforward. It's very simple. And if you want to learn more or you'd like to buy a vehicle through Carvana, please click the link in my description or in my comments. I know you can go to Carvana.com and see for yourself, but if you go through my link, um, not only will I receive a free gift, you'll also receive a free gift through Carvana. Plus, uh, Carvana will donate $100 to charity. So be sure and click that link if you want to learn more. Um, it was a pretty easy experience, like I said. I'm very pleased. Plus, you have that seven-day return, no questions asked. If there's anything you don't like on the vehicle, it can be something as little as a cup holders. It doesn't matter. Uh, they will accept a return on the vehicle. Try to get that from a dealership. Try to get that from a used car lot. You won't get it go through these guys they're constantly updating their inventory so again big plus so be sure to like and subscribe click the links in my description and check you on the next one so just an update on the gifts here you get to choose from apple airpods a dyson vacuum a yeti cooler and several other items